We are entering what could be a really nasty season for sickness. In fact, hospitals in Minnesota already filling up with children fighting viruses, especially RSV. Here in the metro, 97% of those pediatric beds are in use. Our top story in your 10 at 10, a surge in sickness that's catching many families off guard. A Sartell mother is now just one of many feeling helpless watching her five-year-old son get sick with RSV. Fox 9's Rose Schmidt joining us. And so Rose, this mom works in a hospital, but she still really didn't see this coming. No, she did not. So typically pediatricians see the most cases among children two and under, but now they're seeing a lot more older children. And actually you or I even could get RSV and it would look a lot like the common cold. Leonardo, Raph, and Johnny and Mikey. His Halloween costume this year will feature his favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. This one. But Charlie Overland wasn't sure he'd get to wear it. That was our biggest fear, wasn't it? That we weren't going to be healthy in time for Halloween. Mm -hmm. But it seems like you're getting better, right? This charming five-year-old little boy. I had a fever and a cough, and so I had to have medicine. Is on day six of respiratory syncytial virus. So it was kind of shocking because I thought for sure it was COVID or the flu. Um, RSV wasn't even something that was on my radar. Mom Ashley says she knew babies could get RSV, but was a bit puzzled to see it in someone Charlie's age. Now we're seeing more and more cases, and cases in older children as well. Before the pandemic, pediatricians say the RSV season would usually start closer to winter. But this year, doctors began seeing cases in late summer. And after two years of masking up and staying at home, children who weren't exposed to RSV are now being exposed. Or moms um, who were pregnant during COVID times were not exposed to the virus. And so then the babies are getting it now as well because they didn't um, get all of those antibodies that sometimes they would from mom. The virus is most dangerous to newborns. Doctors are also seeing more severe cases with children in the hospital most commonly due to dehydration or having trouble breathing. It was terrifying because when you've got a fever that lasts as long as it did without breaking. Charlie's parents had to take him to the clinic in St. Cloud after the longest fever he'd ever had. They say days three to five were the worst. Feeling a little bit better, bud. But his Ninja Turtle energy is now back in full force. Yeah, but I want to play. So let's talk about some of the warning signs. If your child is wheezing loudly, sucking in their ribs, struggling to breathe, or if they're not staying hydrated, meaning they're not going to the bathroom or having a wet diaper every six to eight hours, then it's definitely time to call their doctor. Kelsey. All right. Thank you, Rose. Well,